Alright guys, today quick diagnosis of noise on the Mazda 2.2 Skyactiv diesel 2014 model year. Also applies to newer models. The customer's complaint is uh, noise from the engine while driving at load speeds. In this video we'll find the noise source and how to repair it. Let's get to diagnosis. I am using a screwdriver to listen to the sound. You can use a stethoscope. In this case, I put the screwdriver on one end against the point where I want to hear its operation and on the other against the microphone or your ear. This method lets me hear more clearly and distinguish abnormal sound locations from other diesel engine noises. Look at this, if generator was noisy, you would hear it. The generated sound is regular without disturbing noises and we do not hear any noises transmitted from other engine components. So let's check other parts at the top of the engine. So we have checked at multiple locations at the top of the engine and all seems good. As you can notice the sound can be heard in the lower part. Using a screwdriver I am separating the loudest part at the bottom and progressing to the side of the engine. The camera's microphone picks up the sounds of all the noises, so it's not easy to tell the difference. And probably the screwdriver was not placed correctly on the microphone. When I checked the noises off camera, I could hear the difference a little bit better. So the noise increased as I got closer to the engine timing chain. At this stage the tool transfers sound much better despite surrounding noises. And we know that the noise is coming from the lower part of the engine. And the timing chain side. Precisely at this very place. Here an overview of the engine's construction is handy for those unacquainted with the vehicle. So if the noise is in this area, then we may suspect that the oil pump chain is the source of noise. Before I perform a visual inspection I will check if the oil pressure is within specifications. You may ask why. A noisy chain may create debris which may get into the lubrication system. I am taking the oil pressure at a cold and hot engine. For proper procedure please refer to my other videos. So the oil pressure looks promising at low temperature and low engine RPM. I see that the engine oil has been recently replaced, 108 km since replacement. And yes, deteriorated oil is the main factor of oil pump chain failure. Usually cars arrive with a broken pump chain and these are cars with unknown service history like this car. In many of them the oil change was done with a long delay at each service which resulted in a broken oil pump chain. I can hear that the noise is worsening 
at higher RPM and sounds like it is about to collapse. Therefore, I do not dare to take oil pressure at 3.5 thousand RPM. That is one of the desired engine speeds at which oil pressure should be taken. We have reached the desired oil temperature and RPM, so let's take a look at the oil pressure. The pressure is at around 170 kPa and that is within tolerance. What's left is to perform a visual inspection. I will remove the oil sump and get back to you shortly. The oil sump is taken out. At first sight, I can tell that the tensioner is entirely worn out. You can recognize it by looking at the chain and how deep it sits in the tensioner guide. In this case, to remove the oil pump sprockets, I did not need to depress the tensioner. The chain came off as if there was no tautness. There is visible mechanical damage to the chain rollers all around it, and here the tensioner guide those two deep whitish grooves. Usually there should be a uniformly flat surface. Here is a chain tensioner guide for comparison, and this one is used with much less visible wear. Unfortunately, the guide is available as a unit, because it's not replaceable. The job will be time consuming. Many parts like injectors, valve cover, timing chain cover and timing chain itself must be dismantled to replace the old pump chain. And here is an overview of the replacement. Mm -hmm.